backstage at the Bad Boy Family Reading. I'm special here with Carl Thomas. How I are am you? Carl Thomas. How you doing, special? I'm wonderful. I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy to be here. This man got hits right here. <laughs> we got to talk about what's going on these days with Carl Thomas. Well, working, um, working, working. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I've been really uh, recording at a vigorous pace mm. and uh, just trying my best to to uh, get the best feeling mm. out there. You know what I mean? That's so important. This too. project, this project that I'm doing, is all about feelings. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So uh, there is uh, a single right mm -hmm. now that I'm about to release, uh -oh. I'm preparing to release, uh -oh. called "Love Ingredients." Oh. And uh, there's actually another one called Happy Hour. You nice. Know what I mean? So uh, I'm just going to allow the people to eat from which plate they want to eat from. I was just about to ask, have you been in the kitchen a lot? You got I, love ingredients and happy I, hour. I, 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 absolutely. <laughs> I've been, you know what I mean? I'm a foodie. What people really don't understand about me is that, truthfully, I'm a 400-pound cake-loving fat kid <laughs> yes. on the inside. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> What's your favorite kind of cake? My favorite kind of cake is Italian cream cake. Oh, fancy. Yeah, yeah, See, yeah, I just yeah, like yeah. funfetti. Italian, you just took it Italian to a new level. Yeah, Goodness yeah, gracious. <laughs> oh, man. But, but, but yeah, I, I first, but I, I, really, uh, I really find it uh, important and necessary to just thank KML for supporting me in season and out of season. Um, I mean, I can be traveling the country, and one of my homeboys from Oakland will call me and say, mm -hmm. hey, man. Uh, are you up in Oakland? <laughs> and I'm like, no. Nah. He's like, yo, because they playing you quite a bit right now. Right. And I'm just like, you know, like, okay, you know. Yes. And I just want to, you know, recognize the fans out there. These are some of the best R&B fans mm -hmm. in the Bay Area, you mm -hmm. know. And, and, and um, you guys have been holding me up and holding me down. Yes. So I appreciate that. How do you feel about R&B these days? There's a lot of conversations going on about R&B, about, oh, it's not where it used to be, or it's this, or it's that. How do you feel about it? Um, I actually like where it is. Nice, I love yeah. that answer. Yeah, I actually like where it is. Uh, it's, a, it's, at a necessary, it's at a necessary point of growth. Mm. And uh, there's a lot of new exciting artists mm -hmm. out there that are really doing some exciting stuff. Definitely. And uh, I'm glad to, you know, throw my hat back in the mm -hmm. back in the ring. Show these with kids it. how it's done. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I, I really can't show them mm. how it's done because mm. nobody can quite do it the way that I do it. Mm. Uh, just like I really can't do it the way that they do it, mm -hmm. you know. It's beautiful when God blesses you with your own pace, mm -hmm. with your own style. Yep. Um, you know, with your own handprint on mm. this game. And we see and that I'm gonna a lot tell you these something. Days. I'm going to tell you something. Thank God for this game. Mm -hmm. Thank God for this game. <laughs> I'm going to tell you for real. Because one thing I realize is that time will tell the truth on everybody. Mm. Time will tell the truth mm -hmm. on everybody. I mean, I know artists that I started with that are selling insurance right now. Oof. You know what I mean? Because truthfully, they may have been talented, but this game just wasn't built for them, and they wasn't built for this game. Exactly. Yeah. Very, very true. Let's go back in the time machine a little bit. When you listen to your first album, what do you hear? I hear an angry young man mm. who found really pleasant ways to say uh, things that he was feeling, mm. you know, at the time. I, I, I was really uh, mad at my point in relationships. When you look and listen to songs like Emotional and mm -hmm. You Ain't Right yes. uh, <laughs> yep. and I Wish and what have you, you can pretty much gauge where I was in the relationship mm -hmm. field uh, then. You know, one thing that it did teach me, I learned a lot from that album. Mm -hmm. um, um, I learned a lot socially from that album mm -hmm. because uh, I'm sure you know uh, that my name in correlation with that album became a community joke. You know what I'm saying? Oh, stop being so Carl <laughs> Thomas. Oh, you, you, you getting real <laughs> Carl Thomas right now. <laughs> but what I learned from that was, is that we are living in a social climate that worships callous behavior. Mm. That worships callous behavior, you know? One of the things that I appreciated so much about Pac mm -hmm. was his level of sensitivity. Mm. And that's the reason why he was just always in such a rah, such yeah. a rage, is yep. because he was a sensitive cat. Mm -hmm. You know, there is no in between. There is no honor mm -hmm. in being insensitive because what we get, what we have in the violence in our community is a lack of empathy. Mm. 
a lack of empathy. Mm -hmm. You can't have empathy if you don't have sensitivity. Yeah. So you have to be sensitive if you're going to be a father, mm -hmm. if oh. you're going to be yep. a good son, if you're going to be a good brother, mm -hmm. if a you're going to be a good sister, yeah. if you're going to be a good human being, you have to be sensitive. You've got to be a little bit Carl <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> yeah, no. Yes, it's, it's, please. Like, literally, like, that's a journey that I've been going on myself is just emotions and things of that nature make you a real human if you're not emotional absolutely. you're not a real person absolutely and even if you're a male you need to show those emotions absolutely have those absolutely emotions there's, he, there's no way there's no way that we can nation build mm -mm. there's no way that we can nation build without sensitivity you got to get past those everyday battles mm -hmm. and, and and everybody has the same battle and that battle is conquering your everyday mm -hmm. yep. to get what you want yep. and yep. to get what God has for you yeah. every day you're stuck with yourself that's right Whether you like it or not Whether you like it or not <laughs> uh, anything else you want to say in the Bay Area I just want to say well I call it the yay area hey there uh, we go you know what I mean <laughs> yeah, you, you understand me up <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I call it the yay you know what I'm we saying I, I, I appreciate um just um, all the artists out here, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, that show me so much love, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Uh, everybody from E-40 to, yes. to Bila, mm -hmm. uh, to Todd, you know. Uh, you know <laughs> Todd, Mr. yes. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Fab, you know what I mean? My brother, mm -hmm. my little brother, you know what I'm saying? I really, I really uh, am appreciative to, to the extension mm -hmm. of their hand. And I just want to tell the Bay Area, and I want to show you with my show tonight mm -hmm. that yes. I love you. Yes. You understand me? We can't I love wait. you. Love ingredients. We're gonna get it soon. You're gonna get it soon. I'm I so promise excited. You. And then after that, we get happy hour. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The key, the key words in happy hour is, now that feel better, don't it? Ooh. <laughs> Goodness gracious, we're gonna have a good time with this. Y'all be on the lookout for those. Thank you so much, Carl Thomas. Thank I you appreciate special. it. Thank, Thank you. you. All right.